Is it the same? What has changed? What has changed in the L1 from 400, the one you attended to the one you're going to teach next week? Um, and by the way, those of you who don't know what yeah. the L1 is, I just want to tell you real quick. The L1 is basically the operating manual, and correct me if I'm wrong, James, for the human body. I don't think that there is another one out there that's better, more comprehensive, more accessible, that's taught by people who you won't feel familial with at the end. What do I mean by familial? Every L1 I've been to, I've probably been to like 50. The coaches are there for you to talk to at lunch. They'll hang out with you afterwards. Everyone is your friend. The guy next to you who you think's a weirdo on day one in the first 10 minutes, will you'll get his phone number at the end and you guys will be doing workouts together. You will learn the 22-year-old super beast who doesn't give a fuck about old people will end up leaving friends there with the 72-year-old who took the course next to you and be like, holy shit, we have more in common than I ever thought. It transcends everything. And you walk away with information that you will be dying to share with other human beings and it will profoundly change your life. And even if you're one of those fucking retards who thinks that you didn't learn anything or that you were above it or didn't get anything from it, I promise you it will become valuable to some point in your life if you stop being a selfish douche. Okay. James, how has the L1 changed from, no. Yeah, no, I, from I, day I, I one say, I to, say, <laughs> to, to uh, 400 courses ago? I mean, I, 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 I just think, it's, I think that there's some truisms in the world. The sun comes up, and if you take the L1, you're going to be a better person. I, don't, I, don't, I just i am willing to die on that sword like, to the end. Like, so, no, yeah, me too. And I've, I've been very lucky to be, you know, it's funny too, because someone asked me. And I'm not willing was, to die on a lot of swords. Like, I'm not a believer of much, but sorry, go ahead, James. Is someone actually who you have done a podcast with before and you do podcasts with regularly actually asked me if I ever get bored doing level ones. Um, and I had never, this was probably a couple of years, two years ago, two or three years ago. And I thought to myself, you know, I'd never, one, never thought of that question. And then two, I was like, no, I don't get bored. And, you know, the fundamental, the foundational pieces of the material is, is, are the same. We still teach the air squat the same way. Heels down, you know, knees out, chest up, hips below parallel. Like that hasn't changed um, in the time I've been doing it. I would like to say what's changed is that we know what we know better now, what we do know, as well as what we don't know. And I think we've polish the course in a way to communicate that more effectively. I think we've organized ourselves. The delivery of the information I think is better. Um, you know, we have retooled some of the lectures, you know, we've retooled the nutrition lecture. Um, we've retooled the programming lecture. And I think a lot of this, the retooling isn't to necessarily, um, say we have to come up with something new and flashy that markets. Well, I think it just is, how do we communicate our core methodology? How do we communicate these, these, you know, simple life-changing tools in a more effective way to anybody who comes in. And this is my, this is what my, probably my second favorite part about CrossFit. CrossFit would suck if it was only meant for the, you know, the fittest, you know, it would be terrible, but it's not, it's meant for anybody who's, who's willing to walk into your doors and, um, wants to try it. And I think that's one of the coolest parts about it. And I've had people at the level one who had just done their first week of CrossFit I've had people at their level one in their seventies, um, and everywhere in, but everywhere in between, you know, um, it's, uh, that's been one of the most amazing things to see is just the, the diverse set of people, life experiences coming through the level one. And what I've learned from that and from them is one of the reasons it's never felt boring to me ever, ever, ever. And I think if you're, you know, and I think of myself as, if they were to say, what's your profession? I'd like to say to people that I'm a teacher. Like, that's what I think of myself as, is I'm an, I'm a teacher and I'm an instructor. And, um, if, if you are someone who's a teacher, I think the most rewarding thing that you can see is watching a captive audience understand and appreciate what you're sharing with them. And I've always found that in a level one environment. I always find that in my affiliate environment. And, you know, whoever the powers may be will have to pry that job out of my cold, dead hands. So, you know, that's, I mean, not much has changed in terms of like the general understanding of it, but a lot has changed in our ability to communicate and um, those, those general principles and methodologies. I mean, just the presentation of the course, the, I mean, you know, the old, the old, old level one was just a, 
it was just this like grimorum, right? This tome of 800 pages of Greg's uh, CrossFit Journal articles. And, you know, now it's whittled down to this beautiful hardbound book, which is the level one training manual. And it took a long time to get there. It's still the same quality of material, but it's, it's communicated in a way that's, you know, a lot easier for anyone walking in the, in the doors to access. You said the word tool, like probably 10 times. That's one of my favorite words. Like yeah. Ur- I like Uranus. I like tool. And then you use Gamorum. I have no fucking idea what that is. I think that's a guy from like game of Thrones or the Hobbit, but <laughs> someone can look that up. You got it. Ask well, him about Gandalf the ga- is from the Hobbit. <laughs> He's thinking of Gamora, Gamora the- from the Marvel universe from, uh, uh, what is no, it? not Gamora, like a Gamora, like a, like a, like the, you know, the Necronomicon, you know, like a magic book. Savan's going to go look it up. He just got up to leave. He's so blown away. Oh no, he's just, he has to pee every podcast. It's part of his routine. Oh, he's got to go. It's only been what, 45 minutes? James, what's, uh, what's your profile picture? Oh no, picture? sorry. I pronounced it right. It's Grimoire. Grimoire. Okay. 